I'm back again with an absolutely huge Primark haul for you guys. Today's video is a mixture of everything. So we've got some accessories, we've got some home, we've got fashion, we've got beauty. There wasn't an overruling like amazing part of the store, which is why this haul is so varied, but I feel like for a very hit and miss time in Primark right now, I did manage to pick up some really cute bits and I'm really excited to get into this video and share all these pieces with you guys. Also, if you're watching this over the weekend, happy Easter, I hope you have a lovely time hopefully the sun comes out for it because the weather has been extremely temperamental i feel like spring just needs to arrive i mean i'm looking out the window now the sun is actually out but it's very deceiving because it's exceptionally cold at the minute anyways let's dive straight on into the haul i'm just going to run through this in no particular order i'm just going to pick bits out and share with you guys what i found i feel like it would be rude to not start with this pink set because i feel like it's screaming at you if you're someone that regularly watches primark videos you've probably already seen this set by now but i thought i'd include it in the video anyway Ways. So the new Rita Ora collection has dropped, which I wasn't the biggest of fan. <laughs> I can't lie, but this set is actually gorgeous. So it's a three-piece set. I went for the bralette, the blazer, and then the skirt, but they also have trousers or collar options as well. So you can kind of mix it up and pick out what you prefer. So here is the little bralette that it comes with. I got mine in a size small. For reference, the fabric is kind of in between a linen and like a work blazer sort of fabric. It's quite thick. I didn't wear a bra onto this and it was absolutely absolutely fine. The back of this one is stretchy as you can see and it's got this slight little crossover detailing. I think the shape of this is really pretty and I think this will be really nice on holiday as well with like wide floaty white or cream trousers. I think that could look really nice. The price of this is £14 so I do find the Rita Ora collection is definitely a little bit more spenny than other collections but the quality on this is there. And then the blazer that it comes with looks like this. So I got this in a size small again and this was £34 so again quite expensive for the likes of Primark but in comparison to H&M or Zara it's still a little bit more of an affordable option. For quality this is amazing so it's lined inside. I'm not the biggest fan that it has the Rita Ora prints all inside. I don't know why. I just think it's a little bit unnecessary. This one is a double breasted blazer. I love the structure to it. It's got slight padded shoulders but nothing too dramatic. Really nice quality, nice and soft fabric. Of course you've got the pockets. This worked really well as the three piece set. I felt like it definitely gave like baby shower or maybe like a hen do or even a brunch with the girls in the summertime sort of vibes but you could just chuck this pink blazer over a cute little white dress in the spring summer and I think that would be such a cute way of just adding a pop of colour and then here is the skirt I actually got this thinking it was skorts but it is just a skirt I do prefer a skirt I got this one in a size 12 and this was 16 pounds this one is really cute I actually loved how this looked on I love the belt detail I think it's really pretty it just adds a little something to it. This one is really generous in size. I probably could have gone down to a 10 in this. It's lined inside. Oh my god, I hope that piece of hair wasn't like that the whole time. That is so annoying. Sometimes you have one of them trips and you just need to treat yourself to a new pair of pyjamas. So that is exactly what I did. And I thought these ones were so nice for spring. So these were £15. I got mine in a size medium. I always like to size up with my pyjamas because you just want them to be roomy and comfortable. I'm sure you guys have all seen these pyjamas before, but let me take them out of the packet just to show you if you haven't already. So these are the gorgeous piped pyjamas. They're a really nice soft fabric. The sleeves on these also have piping detail. The trousers are stretchy up the top. They're nice and wide fit. And then they have the piped trim at the bottom. I do actually have bamboo pyjamas from Amazon that are identical to these, but they're like 40 pounds a pair. Now don't get me wrong. Obviously the quality is gonna be better than bamboo. Like honestly, bamboo fabric is so nice on your skin, especially especially if you're someone who suffers with eczema like me. But for a really cheap alternative, I think they're great. And if you were stuck on a present for someone for a birthday, like you can never go wrong with a pair of pajamas, especially nice ones like those. Like obviously take them out of the packaging, kind of put them in a cute box, make it a little bit fancier, maybe put some chocolates in there. You could be bougie and get like some Hotel Chocolat chocolates, like just six or something. Maybe put a cute little candle in and you've just made a really cute little hamper for someone, but you can still do it around 20 pounds. So I would be really happy if someone got me them pajamas. Not that you're asking me for gift ideas but I definitely have that in mind when I see them pajamas and I'm such a long pajama and long trouser girl like I wear that sort of stuff all year round even in the summertime if I can get away with it I just I don't like my skin out like 
when I'm in bed, I don't like to feel my leg touching my other leg. Like I like to be covered. Does anyone else relate to that? Next, I got a beach towel. I eyed this up the time before last and I saw it again. I was like, you know what? I just need to buy it this time round. So this beach towel was 10 pounds and it is this white and then this gorgeous beige stripe. Oh, he dropped it then. And it's really, really big, like you can see. Okay. It's got marks all over it, guys. That's not very good, is it? It might just be dirt, but there's several like dark spots all over it. You don't want that from a new product, do you? But anyways, regardless, it is a really cute towel. It's really nice and soft. It's almost a velvety sort of finish. It's nice and thick. And I think this will be so nice to take on holiday. They also do this with navy stripes, which I loved as well. I think they maybe did a pink one. There's loads of different colorways to choose from. Am I being extra to return that because I could just wash it? But then what if it doesn't come out? Do you know what? I mean. seem to be going through all the home stuff. I also got this towel. This was five pounds and this is 100% cotton hand towel. I thought this was really, really pretty for spring, summer because this one has cute little flowers all over it. Hopefully that's showing up on camera, the cute little flowers. They're just like embossed kind of raised flowers. It's just nice having a nice little hand towel to pop in your downstairs loo for when guests come around and everything. And this is a nice way of adding a little injection of spring into the home without going too crazy with colors. This bag right here is my bag filled with goodies. So we're gonna go through it and then we'll get back to clothes afterwards. So first up this bag, so this was 12 pounds and this is really similar to the Chloe bag in terms of the structure of it where you've got the handle that kind of comes down. I love the print on this one. I felt like it was quite designery inspired. I mean, I don't know what designer, but it just kind of looks like that sort of feel to it. Of course it's faux leather, but again, this part looks kind of leathery. And for 12 pounds, I thought what a lovely little bag. This one has a zip in the top, which I love. And it also comes with a crossbody strap. I actually got this bag for my mum. Um, oh, it also has a little pocket on the back too, because my mum is not the fashionista that I am. <laughs> and me and my mum are going to be going up to London once a month to take content. It's just something I really want to do for my page. And we trialed it this week and it was really fun. She really enjoyed herself. She gets the day out as the treat. And in return, I get the content. It's quite a little nice little setup we've got going on. Yeah, like I wanted her to have a nice little bag that she can take with her when we go up there. So I got her this bag and she's very hot on security and like having zips. Like one of my bags didn't have a zip. It just had a class and she was actually high anxiety all day over this bag that was open so I thought this bag is perfect for her because she can carry it she can have it cross body she can zip it up it's all nice and secure and it looks really cute as well and to be honest the structure and the quality and everything is actually amazing for the price they also had in this exact same print gorgeous ballet flats they had sling back heels they also had little short kitten heels they had so many things in this design so if you like it have a look because I am actually gutted I didn't buy the sling back heels I included them in my vlog if you haven't seen it I'll link it down below I thought that was really sweet and then inside the lady the package everything just kind of chucked everything in here for me so I thought these were so sweet for £1.50 these cute little napkins they say ravioli fusilli and penne is it penne and farfalle I don't know what that's called but I love the colour of them this stone with like the brown sort of illustrations on I thought that was so sweet just for like when people come round and stuff. Just a random purchase I didn't need, but I like. And then these are two pounds and I actually bought these about a year ago and I smashed them because I'm so clumsy. So I had to repurchase. These are the most gorgeous oil bottles. Like how cute is this guys? I'm obsessed. The top is cork gorgeous rib and you can pop your olive oil in here you could pop maybe balsamic vinegar in here i just think these are the most aesthetic things ever for your kitchen and i feel like these are things you would find on the white company for like 10 pounds each but they're literally two pounds like two pounds can we just comprehend how affordable that is for how cute these are and then oh my god i forgot about this i love that when you buy something and you literally have forgotten you bought it so this mug was three pounds do i need another mug i do not but i could couldn't resist this mug it's a gorgeous glass mug and I am an absolute sucker for a glass mug if you know me you'll know that about me what I loved about this one in particular is how big it is like it's a really decent size and it's got this gorgeous rib detailing I just think this looks so elegant and classy for a mug this would be so nice to have your iced matcha in even though it's got a handle and I typically associate handles with a hot drink but I actually think this would be really nice to have like an iced matcha or like an iced coffee in this is so nice I kind of regret that I didn't buy more than one because it's nice 
nice to have two of things, isn't it? What else did I get? Oh, I think this is the last thing in this bag. So for £1.50, I just got a pack of two exfoliating gloves. Whenever I buy these, they remind me of the pink and white sweets. You know the uh, pink and white wafers? Yeah, they always remind me of them. Anyways, let's get back to some clothes before we rummage through the bag to see what else I got. This bodysuit, guys, is the bodysuit you all need. This is actually identical to one Zara did about a year or two ago, and I loved it, and it was definitely more expensive than this. So this is £7. I got this one in a size small, and it's the most gorgeous stone colour bodysuit. Now, I already have this in cream, and I've worn it a lot already. I love it. I just think you can never go wrong with a piece like this in your collection. So this one is so, so soft. You've got the scoop neckline. I love how the straps are, like, kind of in between. They're not, like, spaghetti, but they're not too thick. They're, like, a really nice size. This one's a really flattering shape as well, and I really love this. It's just a basic, but this with a pair of shorts, you could chuck on a little jacket over the top. You could chuck on a shirt and unbutton it. You can wear this underneath a blazer. There's so many ways you can wear a piece like this. They're so basic, but they're literally essentials you need for your capsule wardrobe. And then I saw this. This was only £6. I got this in a size small. This actually is part of a cupboard set. They do have a long maxi skirt that goes with this. And they also do this in black and white. But this one is the beige and like cream sort of variation. So this is the fabric close up. It's almost like a zigzaggy sort of texture. And it has got texture all over it, as you can see. I wasn't the biggest fan of this on me. I mean, it was fine. It just wasn't, like, it wasn't my favourite. But I think this paired with some white shorts, how I styled it, maybe a white little button up undone. That sort of vibe could look quite cute. I then got the same bodysuit as the beige one, but in the black. So this again was £7. I actually got this in an extra small, accidentally. And you know what? I actually prefer the fit of this just because it was a lot tighter. So it just looked better on, in my opinion. But yeah, there's really not much to say. It's a basic bodysuit, guys. But if you do come across these, definitely, definitely get them. They also have them in lilac. They have them in um, like a bluey colour, I think, green. I feel like it's the next bodysuit they're starting to bring out in all the different colours. And it's honestly so, so soft. Okay, so next up we have a blouse. So this was £12. I got this in a size small. This is a cropped blue striped blouse. Now, this is the sort of stripe I can get on board with because it's not too chunky. It's quite fine. Whereas like a full-blown striped top, I don't know, something about it just makes me not feel myself. It's Maybe it's just not my style. I either need to get used to it or I just don't like it. I'm not quite sure yet. But I do really like a stripe on a blouse like this. And I have something really similar to this that I got from Zara last year. And I wore it a lot. I really enjoyed it last spring summer because it's a nice crop. I like the fact you still got the long sleeves because on a kind of mid sort of day it's perfect. You've got the pocket. It just looks really cute with a pair of shorts. Super easy to wear but I think because it's a kind of blousy vibe you just look more put together. But you haven't actually tried. It's just like a basic top but yeah this with some white shorts like this. Some nice brown sandals, brown belt maybe. You're good to go. You look put together you know. You're ready to go for lunch. You're ready to go for shopping. It's giving city break on holiday. That's the sort of place I would wear something like this. And the fabric is really nice. It's almost a linen blend. It's nice and thick, not see-through at all. Really great quality. I'm really impressed at the price for what it is. Okay, so when I bought this set, I did know it was going to be either a yes or a no. And I was quite underwhelmed at how this looked on me. It just didn't suit me. So the top was £18, which is expensive. It is expensive for Primark. This is the Primark Edit range, so it is their more premium range. And this was designed in Italy, but made in Turkey. Okay. But they've made a point of saying designed in Italy on the tag, which probably subconsciously is why I bought it. This is the top part. This is a cord set. I got this in a size 10. And this is a lovely silk fabric, really lovely quality fabric. It's a nice stone, just off white and black. Silky satin number. The sleeves are wide and they're like three quarter length sort of sleeves. It's a very oversized, loose fit blouse. I think maybe it was just too leery for me. Maybe that's what it was. I did think that when I saw it. I was like, that is either going to be amazing or I'm going to be like hell no and yeah I didn't I didn't like it on me but here's the blouse anyways and then it comes with matching trousers I got these in a 12 for 18 pounds these are wide really floaty they've got pockets and then this is what they look like so they're kind of like just wide leg real floaty perfect sort of trousers to wear on holiday you know they're light they're not going to make you hot and bothered but they're not see-through either they're a really nice well-made piece I love the design of them I just don't think they suit me necessarily but you know if you find this sort of thing too leery you could just wear like these 
as the statement and then pair it with like a plain top maybe. You could wear this with a little t-shirt, you could wear it with a vest top, a crop top, even a plain black blouse maybe. So these are quite similar to the last but these ones are linen. I got these in a medium for £14. These are really stretchy and honestly guys the print is so funky. Again I was so aware when I picked these up that they were either going to be really nice or just like no and it's a no from me just because it doesn't like it isn't my style but I wanted to try them out and I do think if you are into bold prints then this will be a really nice piece for you just a little bit too groovy for me but you know they're really nice quality again it's a linen they're really comfortable on they're really generous in size it's just a bit too bold for my liking it almost kind of looks a little bit leopard printy even though it's not but I'm not a massive fan of leopard print I used to be when I was younger but it, I know it kind of comes in and out doesn't it but I hate to say it but I do find it quite trashy. Another striped number I was trying out, so I got this in a medium for seven pounds, and this is a little vest knit. So they also did this in plain colours, they did it in black, they did it in white, loads of different colour options for this, but I thought I'll just try this out because it was screaming like Paris or South of France to me. So here it is. I didn't find the cut of this the most flattering on me, but I don't really like having, like, I don't know, maybe it was just having my arms out, I'm not really sure, but this one is just a very, very dark navy, almost black shade with the cream. I love the colours. The quality of this, for what it is, is exceptional. For £7, honestly, it's so soft, it's stretchy, it's thick. Really, really well-made piece. So if you like this sort of style, definitely be on the hunt for these. They even do it in baby pink as well. Like, imagine this, like a little baby pink with your white shorts. I feel like white is just the colour for spring, summer, isn't it? Okay, the last few bits. We've got some hair bands for a pound because... Where them things go, I do not know. And then I, of course, got eyelashes. I always, always buy the So Su lashes. I normally get Paris or Dubai. Now, I've been buying them things for like five years at least. But I actually recently tried out the Haley's and I really like them, really like them. They're five pounds a pair and these have an invisible lash band, they say. These are just a little less full than the other ones. So this is what the Haley's look like. I really love these guys. So what I do with lashes now, I've changed how I wear lashes. The ones I've got on today need to go in the bin. So if my lashes look rubbish today, they, they do. Because <laughs> I've worn these lashes quite a few times, I need to chuck them. But what I do with lashes is, if I can, I try and find lashes where they start and finish similar. So basically I can cut them in the middle and I use one lash for two eyes. And it's almost like a three quarter lash. And then what I do is I then cut that half into two or three and kind of stick it on. So it's not like individually stuck on, but you've got kind of bands and it just makes it so much easier to apply. You don't get them pinging up edges. It kind of suits your eye shape better. I'm definitely kind of toning down a bit of makeup lately. I love wearing makeup, but I just find less is more sometimes. And it's quite nice to not have as big, dramatic, heavy lashes. I just don't think it's necessary, especially not day to day. For a night out, maybe. Um, not that I really ever do that anymore. So yeah, I love these and I highly, highly recommend them if you are a lash wearing girly. But that is everything that I got from Primark. So as I say, it was hit and miss. The clothing department is definitely not the one at the minute, that is for sure. But they do have some cute bits as a whole. So I went to the Lakeside store for anyone that wonders. So that is in Thurrock, um, just border, kind of Essex, London sort of way. That's where I always tend to go. I'll of course, go back down there again next month and hopefully they'll have some nice bits and pieces. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend and have a nice Easter and eat all the chocolate if you can or if that's what you like. And make sure you're following me as well if you're not on here. Here, Instagram, TikTok. I am so active on Instagram and TikTok beyond belief. So make sure you're following me on there. It's at Hazelwood X. I always do little come shop with me's and hauls and vlogs and try-ons and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it is the place to be if you like short, snappy, like daily content. I literally post <laughs> ridiculous amounts. So I look forward to seeing you guys really soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.